Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, surprisingly time has come to take a look again on the Great British Pound, so we just have talked on it and in our weekly research, well I thought that uh, we probably will take a look at it a bit later on it, but uh, somehow as you can see market right now is showing the action that really clarifies our major question. Uh, so uh, the fact guys that uh, the major concern was about what pattern could be formed here that could trigger <coughs> upward retracement. It's mostly tactical, so in long term perspective we still stand on the bearish view on the Great British Pound. Uh, and uh, although initially we have talked uh, to possible hand and shoulders pattern that could be formed here, but at the same time uh, we also discussed the subject of uh, untouched targets on the weekly chart. In our weekly research, uh, particularly speaking, we have the large ABCD pattern down with 133 destination point. And we said that yes, the hand shoulders probably could be formed, but we also keep our mind open for different pattern because we have untouched target on the weekly chart, and maybe market could form, for example, free drive buy pattern that will let market to complete this ABCD and simultaneously to form the reversal pattern that could trigger a retracement on the uh, Great British Pound. And uh, we are moving to the down, down, down in the time frame, so lower, lower, lower when we will come to the hourly chart, we said that is important point in the market mechanics. So I just briefly remind you that we mostly have the deal with the ABCD pattern uh, that initially should lead us to the, this point that should become the neckline of the potential hand and shoulders. After that, market should start to form the right shoulder. Okay, that what sh sh should be uh, should be done for hand and shoulders pattern. But as you can see, this hasn't happened. Market wasn't able to continue move higher with this ABCD pattern. What else uh, we we have on the down, on the daily chart? In the daily chart, we have another important point. Take a look at. This was really fast action. As you can see a very nice candle to the upside last week. But market wasn't able to pass through monthly pivot resistance 1. And we know that if pivot resistance 1 holds upward action within the bearer trend, we should treat this section as retracement. Only if market breaks through the weekly pivot, uh, sorry, monthly pivot resistance 1, we could say that this is new possible uh, bull trend on the high time frame chart. But right now, as you can see, market has failed to do this. So weak, uh, monthly pivot resistance one has held the market from the further upward action. The market rate collapsed yesterday. And now it's moving to the monthly pivot point again. So uh, we have made the bet on the market mechanics of this ABCD pattern because it has very important point and I will show you now on the 4-hour time frame chart. You probably remember what, uh, what we have discussed. Recall this moment. We said Guys, take a look at the ABCD. We see that CD lag is very fast. And also market already has passed through the 618 target. It will stand right here when we have discussed it. So it means that taking into consideration the speed of this leg and the market already has passed through the 618, it should continue move to the 100% extension directly. Or if even some retracement down will happen, it should not be too significant. Maybe minor retracement could happen, but it should not be very strong. Okay. But what we see, and, and we said that if market will break through the weekly pivot point, this also was confluence around this area. So uh, if it will drop lower, then it will mean that something is wrong with the ABCD. But since this is a B, this ABCD is the important part 
of the daily hand jewelers, it will tell us that something is wrong with the hand jewelers because market will be unable to come to move even the neckline and drop to the downside that it's not normal because on the second part of the hand shoulders bulls take the control and if they, if they and they if they have lost it uh, surprisingly it means that something is wrong with the patron so it, it just how market mechanics works okay and right now we'll see the confirmation of our thoughts and to take a look market has dropped below the weekly pivot point now is breaking for the weekly pivot support one this also is a very bearish sign. And take a look. Market has passed through the confidence support. It's 42.28, 42.54 four area as it now exists. So just bro bro broken it down. This is absolutely not normal for a uh, bullish market that uh, is forming the upside reversal pattern and stands on the second part of the potential head and shoulders. What does it mean? It means that we probably right now should turn to our second scenario, or better to say, not the second, but we just have got the confirmation of uh, let's call it failure of the hand shoulders scenario, and this market is moving down. The next destination point to the downside is approximately 133 area. It's really not not, not small move, guys. It's it's uh, almost uh, 10 points. To the downside, where is significant action because 133 is the target of the weekly ABCD pay, ABCD pattern, and as a result, market could form some kind of the free drive pattern or something of that sort. Maybe some butterfly will be formed here. It's difficult to say, but extension probably. I don't know 618 or what. 1618 extension stands very close. It's 133 area. So uh, anyway, we should expect the completion of the weekly EBC repetition. It means that market probably will continue will continue move down. From that standpoint, uh, recall what we said about this rally. We said that uh, this could really bring the excellent opportunity for taking the short. But um, I thought initial that th this was, is, is should not happened too fast as, as it has happened but uh, we, we, we have got the clarity very fast so right now guys we probably should watch for this drop down on the hourly chart and watch for possible minor retracement up the first interesting level that probably could be suitable for taking the short position stands around 143 area this is the confidence on the hourly chart and guys take a look on the forward time frame chart if market will show the minor bounce here to the freight resistance, this could take the shape of the brand and butter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bars to the downside. Very nice for us. Uh, this is really just miserable plunge has happened. So minor retracement here could give us the uh, brand and butter cell setup. And that will be more, more comfortable for us for taking position based on the brand body because brand body usually gives us chance to protect our position with the break even step so because the, at least the minor target of the brand body uh, should be reached that's why I think that we could watch for this setup so uh, first conclusion that we have right now by the action on the great British pound is that uh, head and shoulders passion probably will not be formed and market right now return back to the downward action uh, the destination point in the medium term perspective here is 133 area uh, although this probably will take some time to reach it, it hardly will happen within the even two weeks anyway um, this breakout that has happened recently just uh, is very important for the short term um, understanding or for the understanding of the short term situation on the great British pound and uh, right now we should watch for this thrust down and trying to use it for possible taking the short position. Uh, the one possible scenario, uh, one, pos one possible tool that we could use it use here is the potential brand by the sell if market will show some minor retracement in area 133. So if market will drop here a bit lower, then of course these levels also will shift drift slightly lower following the market. But this this setup probably will will be the same. It just a question from which level it could start. The next support, as you can see, it's 141 approximately, 618 support here on the forward temperature chart and previous lows. So 
maybe market will start down bounce from, from that area. This is not really very important for us. For major importance uh, is to get this setup at all. So if we will get bread and butter, that will be nice. Uh, despite from which level we will get it, either from that level or from that level. So as you can see, uh, Red British Pound turns to active behavior, and uh, so definitely right now it's really interesting and worth of our attention.